What is up everybody? It is Mike from GFO Drone and Tech Guy. And today, instead of a drone video, we're gonna have a tech video. Let's get started. What's up guys? So the most popular question I get asked on any social media platform that I share one of my videos is, how did you do that in your video? Or how did you get this effect? How did you add this or that to your video? And I've had so many questions about that. Today we're gonna sit down and we're gonna discuss the video editing software that I use, Filmora. Now I know there's a bunch of people that have gone into massive depth on Filmora, but I'm gonna start touching on different stuff that people have asked me about so I can break it down and they can do it on their own and if they need a refresher, they can skip back and they can watch this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna start with is um, video layovers, which is kind of like uh, one of my other videos. I'll drop that clip in right now. If you look at the weather, which we'll put up there, um, as you can see, it just keeps going. So, okay, in that clip, I kind of point up here somewhere and the weather box pops up. I've been asked by a ton of people, how did I do that? Um, what I did that was special? And it's super simple, y'all. I mean, it, it's just, it's really basic. And once I show you how, you're gonna be like, holy crap, that's totally easy. But it's very easy to get something professional looking where you do something like that and you point and something pops up um, with just the basic stuff. And I'm about to show you how that's gonna do. So um, let me pull up film more and stuff and let's get started. Everybody. So to start doing this clip, um, I started with something super simple called, oops, sorry, AZ screen recorder. You pull it up. You get it ready, it starts to do that, and I just let it run because it's recording my screen. Then I go back to my home screen, I go to the weather channel, let the forecast pop up. So for that one that day, I wanted the daily forecast. So I look down here, the little countdown timer is ticking. I don't know if you can see that very well, but the countdown timer is ticking. I wait till it goes away. And then I wanted to just have that daily forecast scroll across so I could show you how many days it was gonna rain. So I just started doing that. And as you can see, it's gonna be pretty rainy this time too. Okay, so there's that. Um, the next thing I wanted to do was I wanted to look at the radar. So, let's go to the radar. I picked a cool looking radar because you can change the different overlays. Um, so you can do the radar, the clouds, the temperature. Um, you can do the styles. So I did satellite. Um, so, went back to the map. I hit future. Now, if you want to zoom in on a particular area, like let's zoom in on Waycross a little better. Let's stop it for a second and let it catch up. So it looks like it's gonna be pretty clear except for this bubble coming up uh, late today. So that's how I screen recorded that. Okay guys, so I've got the re uh, screen record started on here and I'm going to mainly be paying attention to my computer screen, but I still have the camera and the mic on so you can hear what I'm saying as I'm talking. And this is probably just gonna be a little box up in the corner with the screen being the main focus. So let's get started. 
Okay guys, so we've just started the screen record on the computer so you can see this as well. And we're gonna start doing this uh, Filmora mini tutorial. It's gonna be a really short clip, but I'm gonna pack everything into it that I usually do in one of my videos so you can see how it's done. I'm um, gonna try to make this video really short, really sweet, but also explain to you what I'm doing as I do it. Okay, so we're gonna start by opening up Filmora. And when we do, the first clip we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to my desktop because I've already downloaded what I want to use. Um, let's see, I believe it's this one and this one. So let's add that one. Let's right click, import another one. Let's add this screen grab for my phone. Let's pull this down here. We're gonna keep the project settings for the resolution, what it already is. We don't want it 720, we want it 1080p. Okay, so we have this. I'm gonna actually um, mute the audio on here because I don't want the audio coming through. Actually, yes I do. Hold on, we'll leave it in there. Okay, so we're gonna hit play real quick and listen to what we got, and then I'll pause it at the right spot and we can start editing. So let's go. Okay guys, so for this little video demonstration, we're gonna do something like I did with the weather and we're gonna pop that up here. And, okay, so that's where I wanna be. So let's go back to basically where I think I need to be. Okay, let's go. Like I did with the weather, and we're gonna pop that up. Okay, so that's where I started. Um, we're gonna click the little eyeball here, and that's gonna shut off that clip. And I'm gonna scroll through the screen record till I get to the part where I think I need to be, which should be right about there. Okay, let's pull that up to that spot. Let's go to right here in the clip. Um, I know that I am past that section that I need to be because I've scrolled past it already. So let's hit the little scissors there. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this. I am going to Detach the audio because I accidentally recorded audio with my screen grab. I'm gonna select the audio and then I'm gonna delete it. And then we're gonna go over here and do the same for the other part as well that I've, uh, the rest of the clip. So let's detach the audio, let's select it, and then let's delete it. Cause all I want is the audio from my original file. Okay, so, um, to get this started, the first thing I have to do is I don't want this entire piece of screen grab here. I don't want this extra part and I don't want this bottom part, this extra part up here and this bottom part down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this and we're going to crop. Now if you notice, um, if I keep the original ratio, it's not gonna work. So what we do is we come down here to a custom ratio and we'll grab the bottom here and we'll move it up till we have just that little bit of blue frame around it like the rest of it is. We'll grab the top and do the same. So then that's what we're left with. Let's click OK. So now we have this part right here, but as you notice, it's the size of the entire screen. So that's way too big. So we're gonna grab this bottom corner, shift it up, make it a bit smaller, and then we're gonna click the little eyeball again and we're gonna move it to where it looks like I'm actually pointing to it again. Okay, so let's hit play. Here, and then we're gonna look at the radar and I'm gonna slide over and we're gonna pop that up there. Okay, so as you can see that in clip is entirely still too long. So let's move this one out so I can just manipulate this one. Let's start playing this again. And as I do, I'm gonna click play. Like I did with the weather, and we're gonna pop that up here. 
Okay, so I can get that a little bit more, look, come in a little sooner. Do something like I did with the weather and we're gonna pop that up here. Okay, so because that's a little sooner, and, and then when I start to do that, I don't wanna have that full weather clip because I don't need it. Um, if I would have needed time for it to scroll, I would have given it a little bit longer, but just for the demonstration purposes, we're gonna keep it short. Okay, so we have this clip here, um, but it's just really plain. It just- Video demonstration, we're gonna do something like I did with the weather and we're gonna pop that up. If you notice, it just pops in. It's really kind of plain. So let's double click on this. Let's go to motion and let's see what we can do. Let's have it, let's see. Let's make it fly in and fly out. Okay, so let's go back here, hit play. And we're gonna do something like I did with the weather and we're gonna pop that up here. And then we're gonna look at the radar and I'm gonna slide over. Okay, so that's where the first of the radar is gonna be. So let's start working with this clip. Let's get to where the radar actually goes. Um, I was talking about different video layovers on that. Um, I chose the one that kind of looks like a sat uh, satellite terrain view because I think it looks a little cooler. Okay, we're gonna go to about there. Okay, and as you can see, it's still that big, huge area. Um, I don't want all that extra stuff in there. So we're going to click down. We're gonna to go to a custom ratio again. We're gonna crop out all this little stuff in the bottom. We're gonna crop out all this little stuff at the top. So all you see is the actual radar. Let's click okay. And as you can see, now we have just our radar. But then again, once again, it's kind of huge. So we still want it to be seen. So let's keep it a decent size and let's put it there. So now let's and hit we're play. We're gonna pop that up there. Okay, so like I said, this is for this little demonstration video that I'm using, which is why I'm not. Okay, so that is all I wanted from there. So let's hit click, uh, crop. Let's delete the rest of this part of the video. And in fact, I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna trim this back just a touch to right there. Okay, so let's look at what we have so far. We're gonna do something like I did with the weather and we're gonna pop that up here. And then we're gonna look at the radar and I'm gonna slide over and we're gonna pop that up there. Okay, so like I said, this is for this little demonstration video that I'm using, which is why I'm not actually Okay, so I'm happy with how that goes, um, but while we're at it, let's give it some motion because that makes stuff look cool. Um, let's see. Let's give it that little bounce and flip down in, okay? Um, so we'll hit play and see Slide how it over, looks. And we're gonna pop that up there. Okay, so like I said, this is for this little demonstration video that I'm using, which is why I'm not actually talking about anything in specific, but I'm showing you how I created that, um, the weather popping up in my other video. So this is the video we're gonna use to display that. Okay, so as you can see at the end of my video, I am reaching out to shut my camera off. Absolutely hate seeing that at the end of the video. Just to me, it makes it kind of look so unprofessional. So we're going to highlight on this. I'm gonna move this over, click on this, and we're gonna slowly bring this back a little bit to right about here where my mouth quits moving. Okay, so let's see how the end of this video looks now. So this is the video we're gonna use to display that. Okay, so there's the end. Um, that's how I wanted it to be. Um, so we now have 
our two little cool overlays that we've done. Um, you know, some of the other things that you guys have asked how I do is the, uh, the like and subscribe stuff. So let's go into here. Let's go into, I believe it's elements. Scroll down. Give me a second to find this. And this right here, the what I'm using, okay, I'll go back and explain this real quick. This stuff up top right here is what's included, the basic stuff. The stuff down here is, that's called film stocks. That is the After Effects and that's the extra package I pay for. Um, that extra package I pay for, honestly, is totally worth it to me. It may not be worth it to you, but it is to me. So therefore I have, um, purchase that that subscription is I pay for it every quarter and I think it's like $24 every quarter so to me that's totally worth it for all the little extras I get so let's go into here um, let me scroll through real quick Okay, see where it says social media icons. And like I said, this is in the paid stuff. Remember that this doesn't come with just the Filmora um, regular part. You have to actually um, have the subscription to the After Effects to get this stuff, okay? And once again, I am not getting paid by Filmora to do this. Totally wish I was, because it would be worth it. And I would do a ton more videos on this, but I'm just doing this basically because I love the program. I've talked about this program to a bunch of people. They've asked me questions about this program. So that's why we're doing this. Okay, so let's scroll down to here. Um, this is the like and subscribe. Let's see what it looks like real quick. Okay, like, subscribe, notifications. Okay, so that's the one we wanna use. Let's add it to the top of here. Let's go to here. Okay, so that's way super big. It's over the top of my head. Not trying to have it look like that. Um, just trying to have it right here. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Let's hit play. Specific, but I'm showing you how I created that, um, the weather popping up in my other video. So this is the video we're gonna use to display that. Okay, so there's my, you know, thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the little bell notification. So we have all that aspects to the video. Um, the only thing we don't have to start off this video is a title. So let's start with that. Okay, so let's see what I wanna use. I think I'm gonna go with something that's, um, something corporate, something business-like, because this is a, basically a tech video. Um, let's look, I know I got a corporate one here somewhere. Action, okay, corporate pack. Okay, let's grab this one. Let's drop it in there. Okay, so this says corporate, this says effects pack. So let's take this, delete that part, and let's, where it says effects pack, let's put um, GFO. Tech guy. Okay. And where it says corporate up here, let's make that Filmora tutorial. Okay. So as you can see, this little slash is kind of covered up by this. So let's click on this. Let's take this over move it to there um let's move the gfo tech guide down and over okay i like the way that looks let's hit play see how it works okay film more tutorial gfo tech guy okay so we have that so for this um we're do let's hit stop it immediately goes in there's no music no audio that intro is kind of plain so let's spice that up a little bit um, let's go to audio. The other cool thing about having the After Effects is you have 
access to a whole bunch of different audio tracks, which makes life so much easier. And um, so let's go down to my music. I kind of have an idea of what I want to use already. Um, there's one called... Um, I think it's Tech something. Let's see. I know I saw it earlier. Let's see. Okay, future tech background is what it's called. Let's drop that down in here. I don't need that to play throughout my entire video. So let's bring it down. Let's crop it so it does that. Now, I don't want the music to stop and my voice to start uh, immediately. That just sounds totally unprofessional. So let's click here, let's right click. Let's go to adjust audio. Let's do a fade out on it. And as you see this little where this little slide increases. Let's bring it to about there. That should sound good. Um, and the last thing I'm gonna do to this is let's add a cool transition. So let's keep going with the corporate theme. Um, let's go to the corporate pack. Let's look at this one. Okay, that one looks pretty cool. Um, Actually, that looks a lot like what I'm trying to do already, so let's check out this one. All right, let's hit play and let's look at this video real quick. And here we go. Okay guys, so for this little video demonstration, we're gonna do something like I did with the weather and we're gonna pop that up here. And then we're gonna look at the radar and I'm gonna slide over and we're gonna pop that up there. Okay, so like I said, this is for this little demonstration video that I'm using, which is why I'm not actually talking about anything in specific, but I'm showing you how I created that, um, the weather popping up in my other video. So this is the video we're gonna use to display that. Okay, so um, let me see if I can find it real quick. There's one last effect that I kinda like. Um, Let's see, I think it's in the transitions. And if I can't find it real quick, we'll just leave it at that on the end. because I don't just kind of like to leave that hanging. Um, I can't find it real quick, so we'll just leave the video like that. Um, you could add end credits to it if you want to put credits in your video, whatever you want. But just for this, we're going to leave this like this to keep the video nice and short um, so we don't, you know, lose your attention. Um, so that's how I created that part of the video. So if you have any more questions, any more comments, if you want to know how I did more of this, um, definitely ask. I'm always down to um, show this more and show people how I do this stuff. Um, anything I can help you guys with, leave me a comment, ask me a question, and I will definitely respond to you in the comments or even respond with a video if I get enough comments uh, or 
comments asking the same question and do a tutorial on how to do that as well. I mean, and this is just the tip of the iceberg on what Filmora can do, doing something really short, really simple, really quick. You can do color correction, all kinds of other stuff, but this is the questions I've gotten asked the most, so this is what I decided to show. So hopefully everyone has a great day, and as always, don't forget, God bless, God bless America, and everybody have a great day.